Hi, welcome to Marine Max in Cumming, Georgia. Today we're looking at the Sea Ray 320 Sundancer. This is a perfect boat, in my opinion. If you start from the stern and walk forward, you look down, the first thing you notice is we have a swim platform that will retract down into the water. Uh, we have lots of storage back here for wet devices. We have a shower, we have a radio controller, sea deck on the swim platform, in a walk-through area with a dog door right here. You've also got the swing away seat if you want to move the seat out of your way. Coming into the boat, Sea Ray has added the, the grill to this boat, the sink next to it, so that you can uh, wash whatever you're cooking if you care to. Refrigerator down here, trash disposal storage right in here. New to Sea Ray this year is the snap in Sea Deck. There's your table mount. Uh, you've also got twin 300s in this boat. The retractable sunshade. Looking up top, you've also got the retractable sunroof, so you can open this boat up if you want to and get in uh, plenty of light. Uh, this boat also is equipped with an interior air conditioner that you can air condition this space up here, uh, especially when you close it up. So you can have air conditioned space in the deck or heat it if you want to use the boat in the winter time. <clears throat> Coming forward, you've got the twin Simrad stations. You've got your <clears throat> joystick control. There's your shifter. Autopilot. There's so many things you can do with that. It's uh, don't have, can't get it all done in a short period of time. You got the split bolsters, adjustable seats, more air conditioner vents. So as we move forward, you'll notice that this boat has the air dam, as I call it, that separates the cockpit area from the cold air coming in the boat on a chilly day. When you close the windshield, that seals that off pretty well so that you can eliminate the drafts, particularly if you're running the heat back here and you're trying to stay warm, you don't want drafted air coming into the cockpit. Uh, what I particularly like about this boat is the walkthrough to the bow area. This is a real popular feature because you've got the, the wherewithal and the luxury of a cruiser, but yet you've got the passenger capacity for your family and friends of, of a bow rider. Here you've got three distinct chaise lounge seats, radio controller, you got USB ports underneath the cup holders. As you look forward, you've got the anchor windlass, which can be trolled from up forward with a remote, handheld remote, or from the from the uh, helm station. No less a stainless steel anchor. You also have controls at the, cock at the helm station for your spotlight. Down below, we have the forward area, which makes into a double berth. Uh, v berth with a television, antenna built into the archway. Um, this table can come up so it becomes a dining table when you want it to be. To the right of that you have your wet head. You have a separate shower curtain to separate the toilet from the shower when using the shower. Storage closets underneath and above the sink. Over to the left you have refrigerator an ice maker, microwave oven, as you as storage underneath. As you look back, you see uh, two separate berths, which can become one berth if that's what you want to do. Uh, so you've got additional sleeping capacity for four people on this boat comfortably. So you've got a bow rider, and you've got a cruiser. The cow, the passage, the the capacity of a bow rider. So you get a lot for this boat. It, to me, it's a perfect boat because it gives it all.